Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about one-step inequalities, and we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, 25 is greater than or equal to n plus 13, okay? Well, my first step is I need to isolate the n, so I'm going to subtract a 13 to both sides. That leaves me with 25 minus 13 on the left, which comes out to be 12, right? It's greater than or equal to n, which is just left on the right. Now, I'm going to rewrite this to have n come first, because that looks nice and neat. So we have n here, we need to flip the inequality when we do that. So now instead of greater than or equal to, it's less than or equal to, and then 12 now is on the right. Okay? I like to think about it as the pointy side stays with the n, and the open side stays with the uh, 12. Okay? Anyway, I have a final answer, though. It's by itself, it's isolated, it looks nice and neat, n is first. So if n is less than or equal to 12, now I need to graph that. So Make a little number line here. Let's put 12 right there. Let's go by 2 is 14, right? And we have 10 and 8 and 6 and 4 and 2 and 0 and negative 2 over here. And it keeps going forever and ever, okay? Yeah, I got all of them. Go by 2s. Well, since the n can equal a 12, right? We're going to have a closed circle right here over 12, all right? It can equal a 12. And then n is also less than that 12. So I want to put it in a line that goes to the left, all the values that are less than 12, okay? So now I have a graph. That graph matches my inequality, which is n is less than or equal to 12. So let's recap. We were given, excuse me, 25 is greater than or equal to n plus 13. I subtracted 13 on both sides. Leave me with 25 minus 13 meaning 12 on the left, and it's uh, greater than or equal to n. Now I rewrote this, have n come first, right? So by doing that, I have n is less than or equal to 12. I needed to flip the inequality, make it less than or equal. I then graphed it. I put a closed circle at 12 because n is equal to 12, and I drew my arrow to the left because we said n is less than uh, 12. So since n is less than or equal to 12, we're given this graph below, which matches the final answer of n is less than or equal 